don't don't feel much different than I felt after the game um, from watching it. the first half. Um, have have no issues with how we played. Um, the the story of the night was opportunities, and you play a good team on the road. You better take advantage of opportunities. We put a nice drive together. Um, had a chance to get six and go up seven to nothing. We we have a penalty. We get pushed back. We have a short field goal attempt. We missed the field goal, missed opportunity to get a lead. Get Buffalo playing from behind. Um, Buffalo puts together a decent drive, which they're going to do. Um, they throw one of one over our heads, which cannot happen, which happened, um, too often on Tuesday night, we come back and scores 14 to seven at half. I feel like, okay, we're on the road. Um, we had, we had some chances. There's a couple of deep balls that we, one, we dropped one was, you know, could have been a hair better throw or maybe a hair better catch, but it was an opportunity behind for seven points at two different occasions. You miss a field goal. You really feel like, okay, we could be up in this game right now. We've kind of outplayed them um, in, in some respects and had more opportunities to put points on the board. But it's 14 to seven, and on the road, we're trying to get this game in the fourth quarter and then make one more play than them. Obviously, the third quarter, uh, their offense uh, scored uh, multiple times in a row. Um, some grinding it out, but a lot of it throwing the ball over our head, which again, if you're going to play good defense at any level, you can't give up chunk plays. We haven't given up many chunk plays in a long time, and we gave up a bunch of chunk plays. And then again, second half, they go up 21-7. We have to answer. We've been so good at answer. We get a guy behind him again at the three-yard line, catch it, fall in the end zone. It's 21-14. You probably have a different flow of the game at that point. We drop the ball again, or we don't make the play. And again, missed opportunities. So big plays on defense in the second half, missed opportunities on offense. And then all of a sudden you look up and it's 35-7 and you're on the road and the game's over. So got away from us in a hurry in the third quarter, um, which was very disappointing. Um, certainly credit to Buffalo. Um, they played very well. They're, we knew going in there, a very good football team. Um, we injuries moving forward, you know, injuries going in, obviously you're without your starting tight end, your top three tailbacks and your starting quarterback. Um, not awesome on offense. We lost our three technique and Kobe Hilton a week ago. He didn't, he didn't make the trip, but we still had ourselves in position. You lose Tommy Doyle in the second quarter. We we've got to, we got to figure out a way in the run game to get more production. It's hard when you got uh, Bennett Clark didn't play Tommy Doyle played a quarter. So you're without your two starting tackles and you're playing your down the road running backs. Our younger running backs got to keep coming. They have ability. Um, we have confidence in them. They're just totally lack experience, which isn't their fault. Um, we, we didn't figure any of these kids would even maybe even be dressing, let alone playing, but we've got to accelerate uh, their ability to get involved and be productive. So I, I, we've thrown the ball around okay, uh, but we got to get more of the run game on offense with, with a beat up offensive line and a really beat up tight end situation, beat up tailback situation. So that's not perfect moving forward, but we're going to have to look at what we're doing and evaluate just the best way to manage, manage to get, to get more out of our run game. What's the status of some of those guys like Brett, like Davion who, uh, who missed. Um, yeah, Tuesday's Davion did not travel. I, I'd say there's an outside chance you get Davion back. Obviously, Bester, Tyree, Homer uh, are done. Uh, we'll find out about Brett as the week goes on. I think there's a there's a better than an outside chance we get Brett back. Um, Bennett Clark, Tommy Doyle, I would say iffy at best. So we're we're gonna have a makeshift offensive line and makeshift backfield, makeshift tight end, and um, that's just kind of we only got four weeks left, so it's not like you have time to get injuries healed up. It's just short season. So again, just looking at critically what what's the best with younger running backs. What, what, you know, it's not so much right now what we're good at or what we can do, but what do we think those young running backs can really handle? Because we got to get them more involved. What can you tell us, Coach, about a uh, scouting report on the Bobcats? Yeah, well, one right away, you know, a Frank Solis coach team, they're, they're really disciplined. They're really fundamental. Um, they do what they do. Um, defensively they're they're always good at their runs fits or good at their fats pass fits they always play extremely hard 
they, you know, like I, I always say when I got here six years ago, I looked at our half of the league and, and OU was clearly, you know, the most consistent team on our half. And I, I said six years ago, I want to, I want to make a team that can become an OU, you know, an OU, you know, my second year here, they had us down 31, nothing at halftime. And I don't know, they beat us eight or nine years in a row. And, um, and then we started, we started inching away, obviously getting more talent and then building the program the right way. And then obviously I think we have similar teams. I really do. I think we have similar philosophies. We're, we're both very old school in that we're going to run the ball. We're going to do play action. We're going to take care of the football. We're going to win the turnover battle. We're going to win the chunk play battle. We're going to play extremely hard. We're going to play really smart. And I think that's why, you know, Frank's always had success and has had, you know, he's got the most wins in, in, in the Mac. Um, but also that's how we've built it in the last, you know, last four plus years of our max success of playing really sound football and playing really smart and really hard and playing together. So, um, obviously losing their quarterback, they're playing two different guys. Uh, they're playing Rourke's younger brother, uh, and they're, they're playing a transfer kid. So they've got two different kids, but they're still doing very similar. They got a good running game. They got a host of good receivers. So it, it'll be a battle like it always is when Miami plays OU. And, um, obviously there's a ton at stake at this game to, to add on to the rivalry. So this is a game that both teams desperately need and want. And in a short season, both teams probably have to have. So, um, it should be a great contest next Tuesday. I was kind of monitor, monitoring the OU game the other day, and it looked like they were playing Rourke uh, the majority of the time. Does he kind of remind you of his his older brother a little bit in the way he plays? Um, a little bit. He's more of a pocket. He's more of a passer. Um, the other, you know, he's had some carries, and they'll run their read stuff with him, and he certainly run. He doesn't run like his older brother, but that's not a knock on him because not, not, not many tailbacks of the Mac run like his older brother. Um, so his older brother was just an amazing, amazing runner player, whatever. Um, and then the other kids probably more, more similar to him. The other, the big six, five transfer kid is, is more of a run first guy, you know? So um, I think they'll probably end up using both. I don't know, but they have used both at least in, in, the thing is they're running the same package with both. I think they're emphasizing the pass a little bit more with the one kid and maybe a little more run with the other kid, but they're running the same stuff. So it's not a matter of preparing for two offenses. They're running OU's offense, which has been very effective for many, many years.